Brothers, sisters, celestial energies, brother wisdom. I didn't want to. I don't like thinking about this subject here. Um, it's actually worse than what's going on in South Africa. Hurricane Durian. You know, when um, I first heard about Hurricane Durian, I was like, you know, something's up with this here. These orc beings, you know, they got their news thing and they, you know, got too many details of something that hasn't happened. And, you know, that was like the, the key indicator for me, which is like, how do you know this is going to happen the way it happened? How do you, how, how are they able to give such details of this so-called storm and it didn't even happen? So you have to remember everything with this, these orcs and their so-called government. It's entertainment to them. You know, it's all scripted. This is entertainment. And what happened in the Bahamas was something that they took back some uh, two to four hundred years ago when our people in the islands fought them. And got their land. You know, fought them for their land and kept their land. And that's what our people did. Our, our people fought and kept their land. I just imagine if we would have fought as many of us, us as it was and we would have kept our land. We wouldn't be in this shape now. Well, actually, we would have wiped them out. Literally. And we're not talking about through sexual gentrification. We're talking about straight war. Um, so they were talking about where the hurricane was going to start and it started just where they said it was going to start. And then, you know, it, it came to me, you know, out in the Pacific ocean, close to, uh, where the islands are, there is a giant over the water harp, uh, system. So the hurricane starts. Now you got all your agents that are linked in to um, these orc beings like, you know, uh, what's her name? Uh, what's that sister name? I forget her name. Uh, Lafleur or Lafleur, whatever her name is. Um, I'm listening to her and, you know, she's like, oh, yeah, the, it was the ETs who started this. And then evolutionary energy arts come right behind. And says uh, uh, there was ETs that were controlling the hurricane. Okay, so I'm looking at it. I'm like, wait a minute, hold on. Here. Something, something's totally wrong. Something's totally wrong with this right here. So as I go into meditation and go among the, you know, the elders or whatever, you know, it was very silent because Mother Nature was highly angry and she didn't start this hurricane and neither was it the ancestors these orc beings started this hurricane this hurricane season so-called hurricane season or whatever and they started this hurricane because they know what's getting ready to happen to them they know that this 400 year period is up so they went to the most vulnerable people they could possibly go to. Now, there were some key points that I saw in, in, in this whole thing. You know, they were starting to, you know, the hurricane was going. And excuse me there. Um, waiting on my buddy to come out of the store. <laughs> um, there were some key points. Like there was a video that was on YouTube, that still is on YouTube, say, what happens if you nuke a hurricane? And then it shows all this catastrophic stuff, you know, houses being lifted up and planes flying, planes being taken up in the air by this hurricane. And I'm like, wow. 
Wow, 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 wow. So I'm listening to this one sister, and she was saying, you know, it was one sister on Messenger, and she was saying um, in that area that she was like, I've been through a Category 5 hurricane. She said this was not a Category 5 hurricane. I thought about it. I said, yeah, that is, she's right. Category 5 hurricane don't have winds at 200 miles plus per hour. All right, these winds had to be in anywhere from 250 to 275 miles per hour because they literally disintegrated houses, houses that which were there. It was like a, 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 a mega tornado just came in and ripped through and these houses were there and, and homes were there and businesses were there and they just ripped to pieces. There's hurricane was started by these orcs. Hurricane Dorian, that's why they gave it a name. And anytime they give a name to something, that means they already had it made. They already had it prescribed. They was already choreographed in their scripts that they write. Just like scripture, scripts, you know, it's all choreographed. So I looked in that and I was like, oh my goodness, this is horrible. This is horrible. <laughs> I said, I can't believe this. So I'm watching the information and, you know, they didn't want to give the actual what, what, what was really going on. So the one brother, he, you know, the sister said, you know, she saw bodies and bodies, and bodies. but this one brother who uh, sent a voicemail, a voice uh, thing out through messenger, he said, there are thousands of bodies and the media is not talking about it. And they were they had planes at the airport, but the planes were there to get the orc beings that were on the island. So our people who were running to go to the plane to try to get on to get to safety, these orcs were gunning them down and killing them and the children. They were gunning down our people, killing our people and the children. Also, these are orc soldiers that they got gathered around because they only came for their so-called American people. Thousands of bodies, this land everywhere. These orc beings trying to play nature. They're trying to play like they are the almighty. They're the superpowers. I did the etymology of super, super is, you know, supreme and um, uh, enlightened and lifted up, you know, and power is, you know, just what it is. I'm like, I can't believe this. And then I said, I can believe this. But the thing that we must see is that these beings have caused so much trouble on our land. And we, and our planet, and we've got to do something about it, guys. That's just my brief little thing about Hurricane Dorian. This is horrible. But we're going to get through this, and we're going to do, our, we'll do what we got to do to get them off of our planet. Okay, guys? <laughs> hey, here goes my buddy right here. I'll catch you guys a little bit later. All power to the Motion Shark of Celestial and Peace to you all.